Here, uh, I will be discussing the principle of eddy current testing. Eddy current testing uses a coil which produces a magnetic field and which is lowered on a surface of a conductive material and because of the alternating magnetic field in the coil uh, eddy currents are produced inside that material which oppose the magnetic field of the coil thereby changing the impedance of the coil and the eddy current machine what it does is it, it measures the changes in impedance of the eddy current coil so here is a uh, eddy current coil the coil is in air it produces a magnetic field which is shown in blue color and when the coil is in air the impedance of the coil is displayed on this impedance plane diagram at this point when the coil is lowered on the surface of a conductive material for example stainless steel then eddy currents are produced in the material to produce a magnetic field that opposes the primary magnetic field of the eddy current coil when the two magnetic fields interact the impedance of the eddy current coil changes and this change is actually shown by the blue curve here where the probe is brought down to the surface of the stainless steel part and then the impedance of the coil changes from this point and it goes down to this point on the stainless steel. As we scan the surface of the stainless steel and we encounter a crack, then the crack distorts the eddy currents in the material, thereby distorting the magnetic field. And this change in the magnetic field interacts with the primary magnetic field of the eddy current coil and that changes the impedance of the coil once again. And this impedance change is shown by this curve which is shown right here which is also called the conductivity curve if the conductivity increases in this direction but since the crack is actually uh, like an increase in the resistance so when there is an increase in the resistance then the impedance will actually move into this direction what we do for eddy current testing is that we take this small display here and we transfer it to a uh, eddy current instrument display which is shown in this figure so basically the lift off line is here and which is shown here and the crack line is here which is shown here what we do with the uh, eddy current display is that we change the phase angle on the machine to bring the lift off angle to zero degree which is right here and when that's done then the crack signal is shown here the basic controls on the eddy current instrument are actually the gain which is used to increase or decrease the signal level, the phase which is used to rotate the signals in order to bring the lift off to horizontal and the frequency is the frequency to match the frequency of the probe which is normally in the range of uh, 50 kilohertz to 1 megahertz. Thank you.